Yeah. It'll be that. That'll be the X value. Oh, yeah. Because yeah? Yeah. that'll be where the graph cuts off. Now you have to sub in that, sub in that, see which is higher, and that'll be your answer. Mm -hmm. Okay? Right, parts D. Okay, what's part D? Calculate to the nearest half hour the times when the temperature is predicted to be 12 degrees. We have a model for temperature, here it is. 15 plus 2 cos... Oh, I'm going to change it, sorry. 15 plus root 29 cos pi t over 12 minus 1.19. That's got to spit out 12. That's the whole point, is that our model is spitting out a temperature of 12. We now solve that equation. Cos pi t over 12 minus 1.19 equals negative 3 over root 29. The most basic angle that spits out of a calculator when you do that is what? Somebody got it? It's just shift cos of something. Say again? Minus 0 0.557. Now, did that come out of your calculator with a shift cos? That's strange because the calculator is built always to use arc cos and that will always spit out an answer between 0 and pi. I got 2.1. What did you get? 2.16. Well, that's between 0 and pi, so that's good. How many, can, I give, can you give me some more decimal places? 3.73. What, 2.163? No, no, like, oh, sorry, no, I don't. Oh, no. I thought you meant it didn't come out. 1616. Okay. Notice here I'm getting absolutely terrified about using rounded answers in subsequent <laughs> calculations. Okay, oh, that's naughty. Gotta put that back. Okay. What's funny? <laughs> okay, now. Okay, now. Um, that is. A little bit less than pi, that's like swinging around over there. So that's 2.16-ish. In other words, well, almost short of a full 180 degree swing. Because that I see that number and think it's a little bit less than pi, which is 3.14. Okay? So, that's the, uh, here are the other four. Which ones do I actually want? Well, I got a negative answer, didn't I? So I want these two. Yeah? Now, can I get to those with my range? What's my range? It's this horrible guy. Can I achieve that answer <coughs> in that range? So in other words, I'm only allowed to use angles between negative 1 and 5. Yeah? yeah? yeah. I can get to that because that's a little bit less than 3. Can I get to that? Yeah. That's pi plus another 1.19. That's only 4.5. Yeah. So my two answers are... What's that again? You just told me. It was 2. Point, oh, there we go. It's 2.16. So my two answers are pi t12 minus 1.19 equals 2.161, etc. But the other one is pi t over 12 minus 1.19 dot 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 equals, can you, oh, what will that guy be? 4.1215. Say again? 4.1215. How'd you get that? <laughs> How'd you physically get that? Because I've got a way, I'm just wondering what your way was. You basically say, however far that is, will be the same as that. So whatever that was, and it was 2.16, take it away from 2 pi, and that'll land you there. Yeah. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Sophie, is that cool? Yeah. And that looks about right. 2 pi is about 6. Take away one of those, you get to around 4. Mm -hmm. Okay? Now, they are the two sweet answers for pi t over 12 minus 1.19. You now rearrange each of those. Can somebody just quickly tell me what you get? 5.315. Oh, you just talking about t, sorry. I just want the value of t. 20 and 13. Say again? 20 and 13. They're pretty rounded. Yeah. They seem awfully rounded to me. <laughs> okay. 
12.8. 12 12 12 for one of them? Yeah. And the other? 20.3. 20.3. And you use the fully accurate version of the 1.19? You sure it otherwise you're using rounded answers in subsequent calculations and the errors will build up? Well, let's just assume you did because that rings a bell from the mark scheme. Okay? Okay, now, what is that measured in? Was 10 minutes, hours, what was it? Okay, so that's 12 hours afternoon, right? Now, that's, that's definitely a round up situation. That's 13 hours afternoon. I don't mean afternoon, I mean afternoon. And this is what? Was it nearest half hour, nearest hour? Okay, so that would be 20.5. Am I right? That's to the nearest half hour. Man, this is a horrible question. Okay? Now, if you add 20.5 hours onto noon, what do you get? 4.30 in the morning, is that right? Or what was it? That doesn't ring a bell for the mark scheme. No, that's not right, is it? Is it eight thirty? Sorry, yeah. So there we go. There's two answers: one a.m. and eight thirty a.m. That one comes from adding twenty and a half hours on. That comes from adding thirteen hours on. Done. Does anyone want to ask any questions about that? Please do I record that. Yes, I do.